Hi, my name is Hitesh and welcome to SQL Injection Master Course. Below is my web homepage where you can access details about me and can leave a very valuable hello to me. In this video, we will look at how we can dump the database for the challenge one or the lesson one, which we are going through all about. So let me open up quickly our virtual machine, which is already being set and is not being touched since the last video. Okay, so let us move back and since I, re I would really like you to take deep into the video series and open up my command prompt shell and take you into the some of the deep commands about the SQL. But really that would make the series a little bit, uh, you can say much more less interesting as compared what I am trying to make. So first of all, we will learn the key skills, what we are actually capable of doing via this SQL injection. And then further, I'll take you deep with the command line into the more SQL deep commands. And I guarantee you that learning those commands will help you to gather uh, much more information out of the database. But I really cannot imagine if you'll use these skills for a disaster purpose. Always use with your ethics, moral, and of course, legal aspects. In fact, harming anyone is not going to benefit you. Instead, you can report some bugs out there and can get some thousands and thousands of dollars bounty as I and some of my friends have always and always every month we got a lots of such bounties. Okay, so let us uh, proceed how we can do that. We have already seen that how we can get the database by using the database as a function and we can get the name out of the database. Important thing is you can only use two and three since the two and three output is out there. Uh, that's why it is the reason why you can use them. And if you'll use the one, the output is there for the one, but it is not being displayed on the page. So that's the only reason. Okay, so I'm putting out here too. It says database name is security. What extra we can do out here? And again, I repeat that, please watch all these videos in the high definition format, although I'm trying to put it, put these all videos into the highest possible mode, but make sure you watch them in the HD, videos are already compressed. So next thing that I'm interested in to dump out the database table, if you are not quite aware with the database, consider the database as a simple Excel sheet. It has got some tables, some columns, and some data in it. So we already know the name of your Excel sheet, that is security, or in, particular technical terms, we know the name of the database that is security. Now I'm going to dump the table name that is by table underscore name. But if I put just table underscore name, that's going to prompt me an error. It's something like I'm telling you, hey, please bring me a book. I haven't told you from where to bring those book. So likewise in the database, I have to tell you that bring the book from the library or in this case from information underscore schema dot tables and again i have to be sure that at the end i have got this hyphen hyphen and plus sign in most of the case this thing is going to work and put out you the exact same table that is character underscore sets but in case if you are not sure that it is working or not it is giving you out the table from the right database or not you can amend the queries as well where in that you can put where you can simply put where table underscore schema equals and in two single quotes you have to put security and end the single quote make sure at the end there is hyphen hyphen and plus this is one way by which you can proceed and in that you can see that there is a emails also there is one more method in case you don't want to apply two single quotes out here you can simply use a function that is database and as a function. Now this is also going to serve the same purpose, the same results. So that's the one beautiful thing which we can do. Now since I have got this, I would really like to show you there are many tables in the database. How to find all of them? For that we are going to use a one very good function that is limit. So I'm going to put limit and by default it is 0 comma 1 that is displaying me the first result so I'm not interested in the first I'm interested in the first that is actually the two so 2 comma 1 then I can proceed as the you can say 2 comma 1 then 3 comma 1 and likewise oops I have bookmarked it I really don't want it okay so I can also mark it 
3 comma 1 but this can be really a troublesome and you can guess hackers are not actually that much of handy works they always like to have shortcut so what you can do you can simply move on to this table underscore name and here is the shortcut you can use one very good function that is group underscore concat and put a table underscore name as the argument of this function that is you have to put them in the bracket so by just a click you have got email refers you as int and users all the tables which are being done you can get the data out of any table but first of all you have to get out with the columns that are present in the tables so how you can do that uh, since I think this users table is quite interesting and can contain juicy info so I'll what I'll put I'll use the column I hope the group concat and limit are clear to you and column underscore name and again I have to call for the schema as well and schema this time is not going to be for the table it is going to be for columns and now we don't need this uh, where table underscore and everything but we need to put where table underscore name since it's going to dump me all the columns and I'm not interested in all the columns. So table underscore name equals to users. That's a pretty good thing. Okay, so let me run this. Okay, so all the things are being dumped at just one. That is username, password, because of this only group concat which is present in my URL. Okay, the next thing is we have got column, we have got table, and now the next, the juicy info, that is we have to get the uh, the credentials or you can say the data so what you can do leave the group concat and let's dump it in just a one shot although we can dump it in the separate shot but since I've got this three number also here which is not being used so I would like my username make sure you don't make a typo here as I do quite a lot and the password okay I'll also put the password in the group concat so that I can dump out the entire database at just one shot group underscore concat and the password is here now we actually don't need any of these things which you are seeing around here this code and I'll select entire thing since I know from where I have to get it I don't need any schema or information underscore schema to be called up so this is the thing and if I hit the enter key here you find that all the username and password are being dumped at the one shot. Now this is the real beauty that actually works on various real websites. Uh, I really don't want to take a name of any of those but really I have reported a bugs on several such great website. And this is the really troublesome part because some nasty looking codes. Now what interestingly you can do, you can simply go to your command prompt and you can simply go to slash war www master in that you have to get lesson one and here we have got our index.php now open this file look at our all the codes what I have done here and make sure if you are a programmer you see out all these things what mistakes I have done and if you are using these kinds of code this is the wonderful one so in this entire series we are going to have a lots of fun and we are going to make sure that you keep your funds. So that's all for this video. But in the next video, we are going to jump on with some command line basics that will help you to understand the SQL in a much better way. Also, I'll be putting up such lessons like lesson one, lesson two, and each lesson will contain some specialities, some challenges for you. So make sure you dump out the database from each and every chapter as I'll be breaking the queries, joining them, moving out and showing out you the database name, tables name, but it is not at all feasible to every time I have to make a long video and show out you how to dump the database name. That's not the important. Uh, important part is you are able to grab to the database, get out some value from the database. I hope you got it very clearly. So that's all for this video and thank you so much for watching.